Taylor Kitsch is a Canadian actor and model best known for his works in films such as X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Battleship, and John Carter. He was born in Kelowna, British Columbia, in Canada. He moved to New York at the age of 21. Beginning his career as a model, he modeled for companies such as Diesel and Abercrombie and & Fitch. He made his acting debut with a role in the teen drama series Friday Night Lights. The show earned universal acclaim. He next played a supporting role in the teen comedy drama film John Tucker Must Die. He soon became known on an international level for his role in the superhero film X-Men Origins, Wolverine. He played the role of a mutant thief named Rami LeBeau Gambit. The film was a huge success commercially. Other works he is known for include the biographical war drama film Lone Survivor. The film was set during the war in Afghanistan. It was a huge success commercially and earned several awards as well as two Oscar nominations. Active on television as well, he played a main role in the anthology crime series True Detective, which airs on HBO. Taylor Kitsch was born in Kelowna, British Columbia, in Canada on 8 April 1981. His father Drew Kitsch worked in construction while his mother Susan Green worked for the British Columbia Liquor Board. His parents separated when he was only one. Along with his older brothers, he was raised by his mother in a mobile home park. He studied at the Glen Eagle Secondary School in Coquitlam. He played ice hockey from the early age of three. Later he also played for the Langley Hornets of the British Columbia Hockey League but was forced to end his career due to a knee injury. He proceeded to study economics at the University of Lethbridge for a year. Taylor Kitsch moved to New York in 2002 and started modeling with IMG. While also learning acting, he became a nutritionist and a personal trainer as well. He relocated to Los Angeles in 2004, where he modeled for Diesel and Abercrombie and & Fitch. His acting career began with a role in the TV series Friday Night Lights, a teen drama series that aired on NBC. The show was a success and also received critical acclaim. He made his film debut in 2006 with a minor role in John Tucker Must Die. The movie was about three women who plan revenge on a manipulative basketball star named John Tucker who has been secretly dating all three of them at the same time. The film was a commercial success and was met with average reviews. He next played a minor role in the action thriller Snakes on a Plane, which was a critical and commercial success. He then appeared in the supernatural action thriller The Covenant in an important role. The film was an average success financially and received negative reviews. He bagged a small role in the film Gospel Hill in 2008. He came in international recognition for his role in the superhero film X-Men Origins, Wolverine the following year. The film was about the mutant Wolverine and his early life. Kitsch portrayed a mutant thief named Rami LeBeau. The film was a commercial success. Over the next few years, he continued to appear in films including The Bang Bang Club, 2010, John Carter, 2011, Battleship, 2012, and Savages, 2012. His popularity increased after he played a main role in the biographical war drama film Lone Survivor. Directed by Peter Berg, the film was a huge success commercially. The film was made on a budget of $1.40 million and earned nearly four times its budget. In 2014, he played the lead role in the Canadian comedy film The Grand Seduction. The film was a commercial disaster. He also had a supporting role in the TV drama film The Normal Heart, which aired on HBO. In 2015, he played a role in the anthology crime series True Detective. In 2016, he voiced the lead character in the animated film Bling. In 2017, he appeared in American Assassin and Only the Brave. The former was a commercial success, while the latter was a failure. Not much is known about Taylor Kitchie's personal life, and he is believed to be single. He had previously dated Rachel McAdams, Minka Kelly, and Jessica White. Taylor Kitch has a net worth of $10 million. In 2007, Kitch acquired a one-bedroom condo just outside of Austin, Texas for $207-5,000. The residence spans 1,196 square feet and features 17-foot ceilings. In 2012, Taylor purchased 3.64 acres of raw land near Austin. He paid about $1.3 million for the land, 
which features 178 feet of water frontage and all of the necessary utilities set up. Located in a prime area, the land would be an ideal spot to build a house, and it is assumed that this is what Taylor has planned for it. In 2014, Kitch purchased a loft in the Marina del Rey neighborhood of Los Angeles County. He paid $705,000 for the 1,240-square-foot residence, which is situated inside the trendy steel loss building. Details include dark hardwood flooring and a private patio that overlooks the marina. Thanks for watching this video, hope you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, I will see you in next video.